Hey guys, this is Sam, and the day has finally come where iOS 10.3 is available. For everybody to download, it is no longer in beta. You can go to Settings General and Software Update and check out all the latest changes for yourself right now. Let's kick it off with arguably the largest change in this update. It is Find My AirPods. If you got those two little white earbuds in your head, you can actually find them once they're lost now using the Find My iPhone application. They're gonna show up, you can ring them, see them on a map, and it's pretty cool. But for a headlining feature, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little bit disappointed because for everybody who doesn't have AirPods, it's entirely useless. However, if you go over to the Settings app, you're gonna notice a new unified profile view, which I'm a pretty big fan of. It gives the Settings app a little bit of a different look. You can see your name, uh, first name, last name, Apple ID, iCloud, and iTunes Store, all that info right here at the very top. Top now you don't have to scroll down and search for it when you go into this area you can change any of your iCloud account settings like your name or phone numbers or email view the iTunes and App Store section and also view all the devices that are currently signed into your iCloud account now let's move on to Siri because she's not the best voice assistant but she gets a little bit better in iOS 10.3 so she now has the ability to check on payments and pay bills and at the time of recording this no headlining apps had been updated yet and unfortunately I wasn't able to test but from the sound of it, I feel like I'm in the future. I mean, paying bills using your voice, that's pretty darn insane. I mean, not like I've got money to pay anyway, but if I did, it'd be a pretty cool feature. And also, if you're a fan of cricket, as in the sport, she can now tell you cricket scores. You just say, hey Siri, what are the latest cricket scores? And she'll pull up a screen that looks like this. Moving on, I want to highlight a feature that I think a lot of others have glossed over and even Apple didn't mention in the changelog, and that's performance improvements. iOS 10.3 testably is the fastest and best version of iOS 10 that I've used on any of my devices yet. It is buttery smooth, there's little to no lag in most applications, and you'll notice it when you use it for yourself. I actually tested it with iOS 10.3 on my iPhone 6s and iOS 10.2.1 on my iPhone 7, and my older iPhone 6s on the new firmware was actually outperforming my 7 on 10.2.1 in some tests, which is super interesting and obviously huge for anybody that may have been disappointed with their performance in previous versions of iOS 10. So that's huge, and I want you guys to let me know what you think about that down below in the comments. Now, in addition to all that, there's cross-device movie rentals now through the TV app, which is great. So before, if you rented a movie on your iPhone, you could only view that movie that rental on your iPhone. But in iOS 10.3, iTunes 12.6, and the latest version of Mac OS as well, you can now rent that movie on your Mac and continue watching it on your iPhone or vice versa or with your Apple TV. It's a super handy feature and I don't rent movies a lot, but it'll be really handy when I do. Up next, whenever you update your iPhone to iOS 10.3, you may notice it takes just a little bit longer than going from something like iOS 10.1 to iOS 10.2. That's because iOS 10.3 uses a new file system called the APFS, I believe that stands for the Apple File System, and it's not a big change right now, like you're not going to notice any front facing features or changes just for this new file system. It happens in the background and it is important to note that once you upgrade to this new file system, you can actually restore to a backup older than iOS 10.3. So if you upgrade and decide you want to go back to an older firmware, you can't keep all your data, so keep that in mind when you upgrade it to iOS 10.3. Also, there's a new podcast app, Widget. It's a super small change, but when you tap on it, the podcast will start playing, and it's there if you want to use it. Other than that, guys, there are some small other changes. HomeKit enthusiasts can now use programmable light switches. If you 3D touch on this weather icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the Maps application, it's going to give you an hourly forecast for that area, so it's handy. But overall, that is iOS 10.3. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions and anything else down below in the comments section. Do you think this is a great update or were you kind of disappointed by the lack of big features? Let me know what you're thinking because I love to hear your thoughts and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop that like as well. For more on iOS and Apple and technology, subscribe. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you in the next one.